Recently, I saw something on the internet. They were building a Super Mario football team. And I, I liked the idea. Unfortunately, the team that he built was not very good. Ryan Plummer, I'm gonna give him credit. And here you can see some of the components. And I gotta be honest, this team would get rolled. Um, There were a lot of decisions on this team that I am just baffled by, especially this offense. Uh, this offense to me is just, whew. there are good decisions, but there are also bad decisions. So I would like now to draft my team. So here is the anatomy of our football team. Uh, there are some things I would do right away. First and foremost, first thing I'm doing, I think this is the QB is your most important position on any football team. And I just don't like Mario's ceiling. Wow. I, I think he's, you know, he's a good all-around guy. But in my QB spot, I have DK playing, you know, uh, uh, Buffalo Bills, Allen-style Superman quarterback. He's got an arm like a fucking howitzer. He, he's, just a, he's just a son of a bitch. Running back, we're absolutely changing this position. Some people like an elusive back, not my style. I like a smash mouth back, okay? In that running back slot, and a lot of people are going to say bullet bill, blah, blah, blah. There, to me, there's the best player at this position, and that's Metal Mario. Metal Mario has some of the agility of Mario. He's got some of that shiftiness, some of that all around, but that weight is going to allow him to just smash through your backfield. All right? Metal Mario at running back. We have a smash mouth team right now. This team is a brutal, okay? That is a Derrick Henry pick right there. I love that pick. His X wide receiver and his slot wide receiver are actually pretty good picks. I don't hate them. So I am actually gonna stay with Diddy Kong as my slot wide receiver because I like that shiftiness. I like that roll. I like that speed. I like that scat back ability. And in that X slot, y'all are gonna think I'm crazy, but for me, I like a tall wide receiver that's gonna make plays in the end zone. That's why I'm going with that cactus guy. I don't know his name, but you know that like squirmy ass cactus motherfucker? The cactus bro. I mean, look at the height on him. He's like three times the size of any other Mario character. He is gigantic. Arms, he's covered with spikes. You don't need arms. He can catch the ball anywhere. Now, for my wide, wide, wide receiver. This is where he is wasted another player, okay? Wasted. I want my Y wide receiver to have the best hands in the game. Insane catchability. That's why it's Kirby. Now, some of you will be like, Kirby, not a Mario character. I'm putting him in there. Kirby, as your Y, his jump ability, his ability to catch the football is insane. Okay. Okay. You're right. You're right. Kirby has been... He's been done away with by the league. That is why I'm gonna use Sonic as my Y wide receiver. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games? Is this a fair pick? Nope. Okay. The league is tough but fair. All right, I will ask a question then. I have another guy that I don't know if he's a first day pick, but he's definitely a Mario character and he's got hands. Maybe the biggest hands in the league, Rayman. Can I put Rayman in as my wide receiver, please? No? Zero? Wait, what are we talking about? This is one of the most famous crossovers there is. He's actually canonically... Oh, wait, it's Rabbids. Damn, it's Rabbids, isn't it? Damn, it's not Rayman, it's the Rabbids. Fuck. I, conv I confused a Rayman for a Rabid. This uh, this X wide receiver is gonna haunt me now. Makatu? Interesting. 
Interesting pick there. That is a good pick. All right, I like that. We're locking it in. We're locking it in. God, our offense is so stacked. Okay, the offensive line is easier. First of all, that left tackle is like a spot that you need to hold the fuck down. It's Womp. It's always been Womp. Womp is the most reliable left tackle. That's who I want on my blind side. Pancake blocks go absolutely insane. Womp at that left, left tackle is the safest, the safest I've ever seen. I think you want your left tackle and your left guard to have a lot of good communication. So you need them to be on the same page. That's why I'm using this guy. I don't know this dude's name, but Womp and him have great, like they got, they have like the communication between the two of them. Thwomp. Womp and Thwomp on the left side. Like my quarterback isn't getting touched from that left side. That is, that is so safe. At center, you want someone compact with good hands, good get off. That's why I'm going boom, boom. My man, Boom Boom, is perfect in that center position. That is, that's a lock for me. We need a right guard and a right tackle. They're never going to be as good as your left side. It just is what it is. And I'm going to save some of my big boys for defense. Because defense wins championships. And I like the parody on the left side of my line. That is why we are going to echo that parody on the right side of our line. We want great communication. And that is why on the right side of the line, bomb om ba bomb I don't know how to spell ba bomb. How the fuck do you spell ba bomb? And king ba bomb. I love this parody. Womp thwomp boom boom ba bomb king ba bomb. That this O line they 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 read each other's minds, bro. They are like they are in each other's heads in an absolutely uncanny way. I don't know about my skill position players, but my offensive line is fucking solid. Now, tight end position. I am a believer that a good tight end can carry your team. That is why I have been saving an absolute fucking ace. And it's actually shocking to me that he wasn't used in the original football list. My tight end is this fucking guy. <laughs> I don't know his name, but I know he exists. Charge and Chuck. I like him at tight end because he can get some blocking in. He can make a play. He can lead block. Charging Chuck at the tight end spot rounds out our offense. What a fucking offense. I'm wet. Now, the defense. His defense is a travesty. It is an absolute travesty. First of all, the end. Uh, actually, let's start with our middle linebacker. I want this to be the absolute fucking staple of our defense. Shot caller emotional leader, tackle leader on your team, that's Wario. Wario is the best tackler in the league. To use him on offense as a center is wasted money. Wario is going to lead the league in tackling every single year. That is just the facts. My WLB, out, out there trying to make plays, maybe can come up with an interception or two. That's Funky Kong. Funky Kong, he's got that bend where if I want to send him on a blitz, he's got arms to get up and make a play. I love Funky Kong in this position. Now, my defensive tackle number one, I need an absolute shit house. Bring me Bowser. Now, the reason I don't go with Skeleton Bowser, he's a little underweight. Without any flesh or muscle, you don't think about it, but Dry Bones Bowser, he doesn't have the weight to play defensive tackle. You just need someone to clog up those inside positions. Maximum fucking girth. And I'm going to tell you right now, 
My next player, he's going to be Pro Bowl every year at defensive tackle. Bullet Bill. Bullet Bill on the inside next to Bowser? That's smash and grab. That is disgusting. Now, we need our D-Eds. And our, we already have so much pressure on the quarterback that I almost want one of these guys to be a little bit more rangy, play in a coverage position, be able to fall back, really read the field. And that is why... It is obvious to me who the first defensive end is. This isn't the guy maybe putting pressure on the quarterback, but he's making plays on the outside. And that's why it's Red Shell. I don't know this guy's real name, but Red Shell on the outside? Crazy. You forget about the basics. Spiny on the outside? Spiny Red Shell on the outside is crazy. And now my defensive tackle on the other side, who is gonna just absolutely be a sack master, Chomp Chain. Chomp Chain as a defensive end is so obvious to me. Chomp Chain, he's coming, he's coming. You can only try and stop him. God, my defense, my offense might struggle at times. My defense is all pro. All right, cornerbacks. Cornerback number one, that's Waluigi. Don't know how to spell his fucking name. I want that tall, fucking rangy corner, sauce gardener. Love that. Then my other corner, I'm going to give it to Yoshi. Yoshi can elevate. He can make plays. He's got that tongue for, you know, good catch radius. Love that. All right, we need our slot corner now. Slot corner's got to be fast. This is real tough. Nothing is saying perfect to me. We've used a lot of talent on the field already. Mm. As a coach, sometimes you just got to make brutal decisions. You know what? That's too much talent to leave on the field. Rosalina, I trust her there. I trust her in that slot. Nab it. Oh! Yo, when you are correct, you're absolutely correct. You want to talk about sending someone on a robber blitz? Use a robber, Nabbit. You guys are absolutely correct. Nabbit is the nickel. I am sorry for ever doubting you, chat. Holy shit. Huge. Now we need our safeties. Oh, God. Rosa free safety. <sighs> God. I need a goddamn playmaker. So who's going to step up? Shy guy, you're right. Shy guy is, you know what? Safety is one of my favorite positions and shy guy is one of my favorite characters and we haven't used him. I need shy guy on my squad. I like him as my strong safety and then my free safety. This is tough. Gotta be Monty Mole. What about Paratroopa? I think Paratroopa in that free safety slot is, that's good for me. God, our defense is stacked, bro. Our defense is so stacked. All right, there's only a few more positions. Now, Toadette as a punter is insane. That's nuts. I think this is, I think this is a Mario position. I think Mario is the punter. He's got that look. Kicker. I think Luigi is the kicker. I think that's where I use the brothers as my punter and my kicker. Use Birdo. We need a gender neutral character and the inclusive cool cat. We're playing football. We're not playing lib ball. Now, I have been saving someone as our kick returner because I think he's going to go crazy. Monty Mole. I have been saving Monty Mole for this moment. I think Monty on an offense isn't great because he's under the ground, but you give him a little space, gone. And now I've been saving someone for my special teams legend too. This is King Cruel. King Cruel, full tilt, coming down the field, just ready to blow up a play. Our special teams is stacked. Now, the last thing I'm gonna do, coach, I've given this a lot of thought. I need someone who is gonna be brilliant. He's gonna be ahead of football trends. He's also not gonna be afraid to cheat. I want Bounty Gate. I want my players cutting other fucking teams down at the knees. Some of you are saying Toad, it's not Toad. Some of you are saying Carmack, it's not 
Carmack. It's Eek Dad. Eek Dad is, he's already in the Hall of Fame. I am ready for him to cook up an offense like we've never seen before. So one more time, let's go over this roster. And dude, if my team didn't beat Ryan Plummer's team, I would be shocked. Quarterback, Donkey Kong. Running back, Metal fucking Mario. Slot receiver, Diddy Kong. That's a mirror match. X receiver, tall guy, the cactus. Y wide receiver, Lakatu. Le now this is where the championships won though. Left tackle, Womp. Left guard, Thwomp. Center, Boom Boom. Right guard, Babom. Right tackle, King Babom. Tight end, charging motherfucking Chuck. Defense, middle linebacker, Wario. Wide linebacker, Funky Kong. Defensive tackle, Bowser. Defensive tackle, Bullet Bill. D end, Spiny, the Red Shell. D end, Whoa, Chop Chain. Cool. Cornerback, day. Waluigi. Cornerback, Yoshi. Dude, nickel cornerback, Nabbit. Strong safety, Shy Guy. Free safety, Paratrooper. We might have the best defense in Mario history. Punter, Mario. Kicker, Luigi. Return man, Monty Mole. Gunner, King Cruel, Coach, Egad. <laughs>